It's me, Two Femmes Racing Kids, with another video for you guys. Sorry it took long, but I was sick and I was busy and I'm working on a project also that is giving me a lot of time. Um, like some of you already saw in the video, I'm writing a book. So it, it, it's taking like so many times on my days, you know. Um, but today I have a really, really, really requested video and it's how to reconnect with your partner so I have a couple of emails you know and a couple of messages from people asking me uh, to do a video like this so today I put together seven fun ways to connect with your partner you know we're not perfect even the best relationship can hit a dull a point where we become wrapped up in all other things work, um, kids, you know, cooking, cleaning, and, and doing this and doing that, you know, and it's a lot. So we don't notice that until we hit that point that it's like, dang, what happened? I thought I had the perfect relationship. I thought everything was fine, but no, it was not okay. Why? Because you detach from that special person without you noticing, you know, we tend to take our partner for granted, you know, and that's the best mistake, the biggest mistake that we can ever do, is take our partner by granted. Do not do that. So today, we're going to talk about how can we connect with our partner. This is okay if you um starting your relationship, because at this relationship, you are in the beginning stage. Who have detachment already so we sometimes we don't notice but we do you know and so let's take it this <sighs> let's see so number one reach for the start and I say that again reach for the start reach reach and reach yes what do I mean by that Find something that will keep each one of you engaged together. Find something that engage both of you. Uh, cook a big meal, you know, uh, sign up for a 5K, you know, if you run, you know, sign up for a 5K that you both can train together and do it together. If you're not a runner, sign up for a walk, you know, the breast cancer walk, you know, the leukemia walk. There's a lot of work out there that you guys can do together and you guys can take this time to reconnect with each other. But it's a big challenge. It's something big, so not something that you do every day, but it will keep you motivated to, to be together, you know, to be engaged. You know, then work as a team to reach it out. Work as a team to help each other, you know, accomplish something as a couple. That's my number one. And like I said, reach for the start because you got to reach, you got to reach, you got to find that, you know. And I have all my notes, you know, because I want, I really wanted to um, get into this. And that's why it took long because when I talk, when I do this video for you guys, I like to do research. I like to read books. I like to read articles and all of that. And down below, I'm going to suggest something that you can read that will also help you to reconnect with your partner. So number two, easy, get 
lazy. Again, get lazy. What do I mean by that? I'm lazy every day. <laughs> now, what do I mean by that? So, you know, the wifey worked a lot of hours and a lot of, you know, standing up and all of that. But there's some days that I just turn to her and I'm like, stay home today. I know a lot of us may, might not be able to do it, but trust me. Trust me when I say one day is not going to kill you. Send the kids, if you have kids, send the kids to school. If you don't, then better, you know, stay home one day and do nothing. That day is for you too. That day is for you to cuddle. That day is for you to walk naked around the house. That day is for you to play with food, play with toys. That day is for you to watch TV, your favorite show. That day is for you to, to encourage each other, to love each other, you know, to pamper each other, you know. May their favorite breakfast, may their favorite lunch, you know, and surprise them in bed and do this and do that. But it's lazy day. You stay for that person the whole entire day. That's number two, get lazy. Number three, I got, write it down. And I mentioned this before, write down what you like and what bothers about <coughs> that partner. How you feel about that person and then share with them. Let them know what they're doing good. Let them know what bothers you. Let them know why they make you happy. Let them know how can you make their relationship better. Let them know. You know, let them feel you. Because again, we're not perfect. So write it down. That's my number three. Write it down and write it down. Number four is take a break. Take a break from your partner. Believe it or not, this will help you to reconnect. So, for example, I like to read. Baby doesn't like to read. I like to run. Baby doesn't like to run, you know. So sometimes I just come out of being a wife and I'm me, myself, and I. I'm destiny. I'm just me, okay. So I go out for a run by myself, put my headphones, and I'm just running out of the house. Or I go to Starbucks. You know, Starbucks is my favorite place to be. So I go to Starbucks with my laptop and my book, and I sit there by myself. Not talking to nobody, just reading. And I let her know, babe, today I'm going to Starbucks. I want to read. I'm just, I just need some time for myself. That doesn't mean that I'm tired of her. That doesn't mean that I don't want to be with her. That doesn't mean that she bothers me. No, it means that I need to reconnect with me myself and I. So then when I come home, I'm full of energy and I can reconnect with you and kiss you and be all over you, you know, but I have time for myself. I pamper myself. You know, if you like to read, if you like to paint, you know, if you, whatever you like to do, do it on your own, you know, so you can know. Okay. So that was number four. Number five is going to be double the fun. What do I mean by double the fun? Dun, 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 dun. Go on a double date. Find that other couple that has and share the same goal as you, the same uh, couple, you know, rules. Find that couple that is similar to you, you know. Find that and go on a double date, you know, share experience. You know, you might learn from that experience. Not telling you that you can copy or you should copy that, you know. No, but you might learn and you'll be surprised when you're hearing other people Oh, they go through that too. Oh, I'm not alone, you know. Oh, this is going on, really? You know, now we know what not to do. Now we know why is this happening. And and you'll see, you know, don't don't just closure for you too. It is not okay. You know, and also don't go with out with couples that has nothing in common with you. You know, having a drink is not something in common at all. At all. You know, having something in common is having the same goals, same future, same, you know, something that you want as a couple. What do you want? And then find that pair that can pair with you too. So double the phone. That's what I mean. Number six is get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. 
enjoy. Not always we can have a vacation, but if you can, take a solo vacation with that special person, without the kids, without family, without friends, and trust me, once you out and away from your house and you're surrounded from every day, you're really connect with that person you know that I don't know why but when we on vacation I feel like it's a different me and it's a different Lena you know so I don't know we enjoy it more we have more fun maybe because we are away from home maybe because we don't know nobody where we're going I don't know what it is but going away really help your relationship do it at least once a year you know we try to do it two, two or three times a year but I know that's a lot you know but at least once a year, do it with your partner and you'll be surprised. But do it and enjoy it and then come back and share what do you like, what do you experience, how do you think you could make it better the next time, the next trip, start planning for the next one. That's how it should be. You know, your relationship is a work in progress. It's something that you work on it every single day. You know, every single day you have to work on it in order to be not perfect, but close to it because it will never be perfect. You know, just today we had an argument. <sighs> My wife. Anyway, uh, number seven. Number seven is try a digital detox together. I'll say that again in case you did not understand me. Try a digital detox together. What do I mean when I said digital detox? Yeah, detox. You know what a detox is, right? So when I do a body detox, I want to think, think things out of my body, right? There you go. Digital detox. Set an hour or two a day. No phone. No computer. No iPad. No TV. No nothing. Sit there and talk to that person. Sit there and ask, how was your day? What did you do? What happened today? Babe, I think we need to do this for next week. Baby, you know, our next vacation, I really would like to go to this place. Let me show you. Let me see you. You know, it's just the two of you. Eye contact with the two of you touch each other just the two of you no phone no people bothering you N none of that completely detox from technology trust me that one is the big one that's why i left it for the last one because once you do that so sometimes i'm all day home now because i'm working from home but when baby come from home you know i know i'm ready so i'm running you know when she texts me baby i'm on my way home or whatever i'm running and trying to clean everything everything should be clean everything should be that so when she come home she just take a bath eat and we sit down you know and we touch she put her usually put her phone in the kitchen you know and i put my phone on the side and for that first hour that she's here we talk how was your day you know what happened today i mean nina's job is always exciting so something is always happening it's the same thing that when i was working at a school always something happening so you know find that find that time to detox completely from your electronic devices and just Pay attention to him or her or that significant other. That's all it takes, you know? Again, seven things. Seven things that can get you to reconnect with your partner in a day, in a life that we take people for granted every day. And there's going to be one day that that person will not be there for you. And you know what happens also when you take somebody for granted? There's other people comes and take good care of them. You know, and that doesn't mean that anybody can cheat on you or it's okay to cheat on you just because, no, because that's why you're going to implement number three, which is write it down, right? Let that person know what matters. But again, seven items, you know, to get you going, to reconnect with that significant other. And like I said, I'm here to help you. Please email me, you know, my email, my, um, 
social medias are down below or on the banners on the top so let me know what do you want to see again this video was highly requested by a couple of people and you know it took me some time because i do want to actually tell you the truth of what worked for my relationship you know and what's working what is not working like i said and then i take it and i bring it to you guys i don't talk just because and like i said down below i'm gonna put some readings that can help you you know we're reconnecting with your partner and do this and have a happy life life is too short let's enjoy it and what a best way to enjoy it with that person that we love with that person who makes us happy who put a smile in our face every day that's the beautiful being in love i'm truly in love you know so be that and do what you gotta do in order to keep your relationship moving forward never backward but forward in the right direction again i love you until next time and again this is two fem raising kids with another video for you guys with a couple of advice Peace.